<laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord good is good. <laughs> Jesus is Lord of Lords and he is King of Kings. Praise Amen. God. And this is the day the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and glad in it. Praise Amen. God. Amen. All things are well. All and Jesus is well. Lord of Lords and he is King of Kings. Praise God. Amen. Perfect. Amen. Praise God. So, uh -huh. man, welcome, welcome, welcome to another wonderful day of Bible study. Amen. Study of the Word of God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So yes, we definitely does. do declare faith. Your faith will increase and rise up today. Praise That's God. That's right. But you, know, you know, the Bible talks about this, that, that, that confession always precedes possession. That's right. So your faith will never rise above the level of your confession. Mm -hmm. This week we've been talking about prosperity and, and prospering and things like that. And so as I thought about this morning, I thought about, you know, why not just make a declaration Amen. as we conclude Beautiful. this week over all the things we've been talking about. Yes. And uh, Dion, I see you on. God bless you, good Dion. Morning. <laughs> it's always good to see you on. <laughs> praise God. Amen. All the way down there in Wyoming. Amen. God gave me to do some things mightily there in Wyoming. That's praise right. Praise God to you and your husband. So we're looking forward to that. But uh, we're just excited today about the good things that God's got. So we've been talking about prosperity all this week. And, you know, and prosperity is one of the things that a lot of people in the body of Christ, when you think about prosperity, say, oh, man, I'm not into that particular message. Maybe I'll get on something else when Dr. Craig get on another subject. I'll maybe listen to him then. But not knowing that that's a trick of the devil to keep them from really understanding right. God's plan for prosperity for their lives personally, for their lives and their ministry. Because one thing I passed for over 45 years, and one thing I understood is that your vision can be bigger than your money. Oh, right. <laughs> Amen. Come on. And a lot of people with big visions because they never understand how to believe God for finances in their ministry or in their business, they never really achieve all that God has for their life. And the devil gets them to the point where we don't want to talk about money. We just get money out of the way. No, 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 no. Money should always be in the way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It should be a part of what you're doing. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy that God gives us power to get wealth. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? To establish his covenant yes, in the earth. That's right. so, so as a minister of God or as a business person, you need to know how to get wealth according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And so today, I, you know, we went over a few scriptures this week, and I want to just kind of conclude this week with some the scriptures we went over and then make actually declarations on those scriptures in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. The devil is a liar. He yeah. does not want you to prosper. That's right. He does not want you to be successful. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's the reason why I keep pushing this thing, mm -hmm. because I know for my own purpose, for my own sake, I know what it takes for me to function in prosperity on a That's continuous right. basis. And I never forget what Kenneth Hagin said one time. He said, you know, he said anytime he's attacked with symptoms, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's sickness or disease or whatever, even though he already knows certain scriptures, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and he can quote certain scriptures concerning healing, he said he still goes back to those same scriptures, re-meditate them again mm -hmm. before he even prays for his healing. Amen. And then once he's meditated those scriptures again, then he says what happens is he starts seeing the manifestation a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times Christians pray only when, when circumstances get bad and then they get into a 911 situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. They start using that faith like a parachute or, or a 911 call, please help me, Lord, I'm, I'm, you know, instead of building their faith upon those areas. That's right. So the reason why I teach on it like I'm teaching on it because I want my faith to be built up, me and Dr. Bell's faith to be built up, and stay built, and then I want your faith That's to be right. charged in this area of prosperity. Amen. So I, so I, I decided to, to, to uh, call this particular message today my daily declaration. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you need to make daily declarations, number one, of who you are in Christ, mm -hmm. what you have in Christ, mm -hmm. and what you can do in Christ Jesus. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, and you got to do this. So today we're going to look at some scriptures, and then we're going to quote them. We're gonna, we're gonna, then we're going to declare them in your life and in my Praise life. God. Amen. So Dr. Bell, we're going to start today. Well, let, we're going to give him a great big welcome. Amen. Dr. Yes. Bell. Good morning. Welcome. We're, you know, we're, we're on this morning. Good morning, Crystal. I saw that you had posted that you are in Tucson. All is well. Amen. Well, we've, we've been to Tucson. We started the ministry there. So the, the ground is perfect for you. Amen. Amen. So the ground is already, so all you got to do, all you have to do is walk in what we already said there in Tucson. We love you. 
And also, you know, the word of God says, now without faith, it is impossible to please him. So you have to have faith and you have to have faith in your words in order to conquer the things that you're going to be uh, having in life. And just like Hebrews 11, 1, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is being sure of what we hope for and Mm -hmm. certain of what we do not see. So as we confess this word, uh, confess our declarations today, just know that's going to be your faith that's going to get you to wherever, that's going to catapult mm-hmm. you, put that, put it that way. You know, that's just like a, a runner, how they run with the pole and then they catapult themselves and they get over that, that hump. Yes. That's where you go. This is what, this is where the word of God is going to get you at today. You're going to catapult yourself and then you're going to run toward that goal and then you're going to leap right over it. Amen. So your faith, is going to help you do that today. We love you and God bless. Amen. And remember <laughs> this, whatever comes out of your mouth your is mouth. your faith speaking. There you go. <laughs> See that? Whatever comes out of your mouth yes. is your faith speaking. So that's why we got to get this thing in abundance in our heart. Amen. You got to get healing in abundance in your heart. Amen. You got to get prosperity in abundance in your heart. Victory. Yes. Why? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth's going to speak. Amen. And what comes out of your mouth is your faith speaking. Yes. So we're gonna look at these things. So first of all, Amen. this week we talked to we we, we we gave you the story of mm-hmm. Joseph. Joseph. So we're gonna have Dr. Bill read for a moment uh Genesis chapter thirty nine verse one through five as we talked about the story of Joseph. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt mm-hmm. and Potiphar, officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him bought him of his hands of the Ishmaelites, which he brought down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, Mm -hmm. and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, Mm -hmm. and he served him, and and he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had put his hands to. And it came to pass from that time that he had made him overseer in his house and, uh, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was, with, was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Amen. So that was our first scripture. Yes. That the Bible talks about Joseph had been sold out by his yes. brothers. Uh, your father and, 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 and put in a pit and then sold out to by his brothers. But yet the Bible says that God got him out of that pit yes. and now he's in Egypt. Yes. But in verse two, it talked about, but Joseph was still a prosperous man. <laughs> and we talked about that this week about even though you get put in a pit, mm-hmm. even though you've been portrayed by the people, it does not change who you are. All right. Joseph That's was right. still a prosperous man. Yes. And it said here in verse number three that the Lord made all that Joseph oh. did to prosper. And that's what we're talking about today, that, that, that when you are prosperous, mm-hmm. you know, and that anointing of prosperity is on your life, mm-hmm. then God is involved in causing you to prosper yes. in everything that you do. Amen. And we can see that even that in verse 4 talked about that because he found grace or favor mm-hmm. in the sight of um, Potiphar there, mm-hmm. it says that he made him overseer of his whole house, which means this, that he promotion came because of the prosperity that was on his life, Amen. that prosperity anointing on his life. And that's the way to clean over your life, that, that, you, are, that you can expect promotion yes. and prosperity in your life, mm-hmm. even in the midst of your negative situation. Mm. Amen. And I like in verse 5, it says also, it said that, 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 that he would made him overseer over his house and, and over all that he had. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine, this is a, this is a, this is a, uh, a Jewish brother, a, a boy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's been sold out by his brothers, but because the head of the nation, or part of whatever he was head of, I saw that God was with him, mm-hmm. he literally uh, put him over everything. Mm-hmm. And that's not normal for your enemy to, right. to put you over everything. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But when prosperity in your life, God said, I'll, make a tape, I'll, I'll prepare a Fair table for table. you in the presence of your enemies. Yes. And the Bible says that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house mm-hmm. for Joseph's sake. Yes. So you can declare, you can know this, that the Lord will bless people when that anointing of prosperity in your life you said people will be blessed because of you. That's right. Your family will be blessed because of you. Mm-hmm. The word you work at will be blessed because of you. Your church will be blessed because of you, Amen. because of the anointing of prosperity in your life. And the Bible said the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord blessing. was on all that he did, whether he was in a house 
or in the yeah, field yeah. that the yeah. blessing of Allah was on his life. And see, that's what I want you to begin to click. Remember we yeah. said that that your that that, you, that your whatever comes out of your mouth mm -hmm. is your that's faith right. speaking. Amen. Amen. Like you yes. said, Montoya, that's right from the from the pit to the palace. Come on. And I'm declaring that many of you today, you may feel like you're in the pit. As far as your dreams and your yeah, visions. Right, but right. I'm declaring that you're on the way to the palace. Amen. Why? Because you are a prosperous person. Amen. So then I, I made a... So, so based upon that and based upon the definitions that I gave you concerning what it meant to be prosperous mm -hmm. and prosperity in the Old Testament, we have a confession for that. And if you are one of my partners, you have that confession, okay? Yes, and what I want you to do is open that confession up on the notes I sent to you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to read this along with Dr. Bell as she makes this declaration of that I am a prosperous person. I am prosperous. Amen. Amen. You ready? Get your notes out. That's right. Maybe you should have your notes out already <laughs> as our partners. So speak this as Dr. Bell says it. I am prosperous. All that I do to prosper in my hand. The Lord blesses people for my sake. The blessing of the Lord is upon all that I have. Mm -hmm. I, I advance, advance, push forward, forward make, make progress, progress break and break out, out come, come out mightily, go, go over and succeed in all that I do. I am profitable, circumspect, prudent, intelligent, and skillful. I am an expert. I have understanding. I behave myself wisely. I am tranquil, at ease, secure, rested, quiet, at peace, successful, happy, wealthy, and in good health. I am sound and complete. I have healthy friendships, human relationships, and covenant relationship with God. Amen. Can you see that? See, so what you're doing is that's your faith speaking. That's right. And right now, you, be, you, you might have said that, so your, your mind will tell you, you ain't all that yet. But no, no. Confession <laughs> precedes possession. Yes, it does. And, 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 and what comes out of your mouth is your faith speaking. It so is the right. more you hear yourself saying that, mm -hmm. faith is coming. Yes, yes. And it's become a reality in your life because the Bible says you know, that your, 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 your perception is your reality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But your reality has just been based on, mm -hmm. uh, on, on your, 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 your past. Amen. And sometimes your present. But that does not dictate your future. Amen. You control your future. Yes, you do. Just like the rudder, the, the, the rudder on a ship. Amen. Controls that sh the big ship in, in the midst of winds, mm -hmm. like a bridle on the horse's mouth. Amen. Your words, your confession, your words. controls your future. Thank you. In Jesus' Amen. name. That's right, Pastor Reed. It belongs Amen. to you right now. <laughs> so you confess what belongs right. to you. Praise God. I am prosperous. Yes, Amen. You are. All that I do prosperous. All that I do. The Lord bless people for my sake. That's you right. gotta declare that over your life. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. The blessing of the Lord is upon all that I have. Mm -hmm. The man said, you know, you know, that over that you're dealing with right there. No. Mm -hmm. The blessing of the Lord is on that thing. Amen. Amen. I'm pushing forward. I'm making progress. I'm breaking out. I'm Amen. coming out mightily. Hallelujah. I'm going over, not under. <laughs> and I'm succeeding in all that I do. Now, the devil playing with your mind the whole time. Mm -hmm. now, you're not succeeding. You know that circumstance? You know, you know what the Bible says about Abraham? He considered not he considered his own body now dead. So, you, so you're not denying those negative things that may be happening in your life, mm -hmm. but you're not considering them. That's right. You consider what does the Word of God say. Mm -hmm. And the Word of God said, I'm profitable. I'm circumspect. Yes. I'm prudent. I'm intelligent. I'm skillful. Mm. I am an expert. I have understanding and I behave myself wisely. The Bible said about David that when Saul was trying to kill him, he said, but David behaved himself wisely. Yes, he did. And you got to learn that. That's who you are now. Amen. Uh, also, I'm tranquil. Oh my God. You said, but man, I didn't sleep last night. No, I'm tranquil. <laughs> I'm at ease. Yeah. Even though circumstances are all around me and the storms are all around me, I'm at ease. I'm secure. I'm rested. Mm -hmm. I'm quiet. I'm at peace. Thank you, Lord. I am successful. Mm -hmm. I am happy. I am wealthy. Amen. And I'm good at health. Isn't that good? That you, you begin to confess that. And you and, and you getting this start, you may have to do this in the morning and in the evening before you go to bed. That's Praise right. God. But you keep this in your spirit. I am sound and complete. Mm -hmm. I have healthy friendships. You may say, but Dr. Craig, I don't have that many friendships. But the ones you got and declaring they're healthy. Yeah. And the ones that'll come to you are gonna be just like that. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times people you thought was your friend wasn't really your friend. They were just in there for the for the ride 
for the free ride or, the, or, for, or for being connected with you. Mm -hmm. So that's all right. God still got new friends, mm -hmm. amen, for you in Jesus' name. Amen. You got good human relationships. Amen. And the best thing about it, you have a great covenant relationship with Almighty God. That's so true. Isn't that right, Dr. Bell? Amen. So we got to confess that of our lives. Mm -hmm. Even in the midst of turmoil, even in the midst That's of right. negative situations, you, you, your confession, Jesus said, you shall have whatsoever you say. But he Amen. also qualified that. You have to believe that what you say is going to come to pass. Amen. So, and, and the way you believe that is by keep on saying it. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the trials, in the midst of the storms, you keep on confessing, I am prosperous. Hallelujah. So here's another scripture, Dr. Bev, that, that we went over this week also. Mm -hmm. And that was in the book of Psalms, chapter 1 and verse number 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that mm -hmm. bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Yes. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Can you see that? So this is another scripture we went on this week. Mm -hmm. That who, who are you? I think the, 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 the verses above that said, Blessed is the man yes. that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the seat of sinners, Wait. nor sitteth in the seat of, um, sit in the, seat of the scornful, mm. but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in his law doeth he meditate, confess, day and night, he shall be. That's, right. That's who you are. Amen. Like a tree planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. that bear fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever, whatsoever he does <laughs> shall prosper. Amen. That's who you are. That's right. You are a prosperous person. Yes. So, Dr. Bev, let's read that, that declaration mm -hmm. today. I am like a tree planted, planted by, by the rivers, rivers of water that bring forth fruit, fruit in his season, season whose leaf does, does not, not wither, whatsoever I do, do prospers. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory Amen. to God. Can you see that? So Amen. that's who you are now. You have to begin to confess that. Mm -hmm. I am like that tree. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to plant by rivers of water? Because when a tree planted by the rivers of water, it's, it's moist that's and the right. roots go deep. That's right. And even though the winds and the storm come, that may bend it, but it cannot break it. Amen. Why? Because it's planted by the rivers of water. <laughs> and he said, you're going to be like that tree. You got to yes. start declaring that I am like that tree. Amen. I'm plant, like, planted by the rivers of water. Mm -hmm. I bear fruit in my season. Mm -hmm. So you are a fruit bearing person. But I'm kind of old. But the Bible says in the book of Psalms that, that even in your old age, you shall be fl still fat and bear. flourishing Amen. and still bearing fruit. So Amen. you got to keep on your life. Don't, don't let the devil put an age on your dream. That's right. <laughs> Amen. There, there's no age on your dream. There's right. no age on what God's called you to do. Mm. So you got to declare, I am that tree. Yes. Amen. My roots grow deep. Amen. I'm planting, but I'm, I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Mm -hmm. I, I bear fruit. I'm mm -hmm. still a fruit bearing person, yes. woman, man of God. Your ministry is fruit bearing. You got to yes, start putting is. this over your ministry, over your business. Amen. That my business, my 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 my, uh, my church, my ministry is like a tree planted by the Amen. rivers of water. That's why, Twala, <laughs> praise God. You got to confess it of your life That's in right. Jesus' name in the midst of the storm. Yes. See, when, when Peter was walking in the water, it wasn't a storm that caused him to sink. The Bible said he, he, he started looking at the storm, mm -hmm. and that's what caused him to sink. Yes. He took his focus off the Word of God, being pulled by his senses, mm -hmm. are you a following? Mm -hmm. And that's what caused him to sink. That's right. And that's why you got to start making these daily declarations that's of good. who you are in Christ, mm -hmm. what you have in Christ, what you can do in Christ. And you do it by meditating this word. Amen. Yes. Yes. So how about this other one, Dr. Bell? Uh, another scripture we went over this week in the book of 3 John, mm -hmm. verse number, chapter 1 and verse number 2. Beloved, I wish above all things mm -hmm. that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So we went to that scripture this week also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beloved, I wish. Mm -hmm. And you kind of see, this is, the word says, I wish, that means I'm praying. Mm -hmm. This is my will for your life. Right. Above what? All, All things. things. <clears throat> that means everything that you're going on, mm -hmm. that you would prosper mm -hmm. and be mm -hmm. in health. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> so you got to see that, that, that prosperity is the will of God. Health is the will of God. That also means in reverse, poverty is not the will of God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sickness and disease is not the will of God. Mm -hmm. So you, so, so you got, so don't, don't go confessing. Well, I'm just broke. I'm just poor. That's not the will of God for your That's life. Right. He said, I wish above all things oh, that you would prosper and be in health. Mm -hmm. You know, well, well, this sickness is coming on my body. I'm not, everybody's getting sick. I'm not going to get sick no. the same way. This is flu season, whatever there. Or this is the coronavirus season. You know, no, no, no. 
you know, I, I take your corona shot. You need to do that. Take your flu shot. Nothing wrong with all that. Praise God. But you got to confess what That's the word right. of God says Keep about your life. That's right. Amen. Praise God. So, so like I said, my seven Dr. Bell, we, we, we took the corona shot. Amen. Amen. We okay. We took, we took the corona shot Amen. a few weeks ago. Amen. And, and we take the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the pneumonia shot, whatever it is. Amen. We, we, we believe in that. That's right. But, but we're not, but we, but overall, our faith is in the word of God. Amen. Our faith's in the word of God. So you got to start saying, I am prosper. That's right. Amen. I am healthy Man, based amen. on the word of God. Amen. amen. So amen. let's make, so you got your notes out there, everybody. Uh, we're going to, Dr. Bell, going to read this. I'm going to read it with her. We're going to read this confession of faith, and I want you to get this together. Praise God. That's why Montoya says she's getting her second shot. Good, Montoya. Praise yes. God. Get it together. Amen. Do it. Do it. Because people are dying, and there's a whole lot of confusion over that. Amen. Get away from the confusion I mean, and just do what you know is right for you and your family Amen. and for those that of your loved ones that you're around. Beautiful. Do it for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So how about the declaration? All right, uh, we're going to make our declaration. Now. I want you all to make it. So don't just listen to us. I want you to let it come out of your mouth because your, right. your words are your faith speaking. Yes. He said, if you have faith and you can speak to your mouth and, right. and tell it to move, it will remove. But yes, you, you got to get it out of your mouth and let, let, let your spirit hear you speaking. That's right. And your faith will grow and become a creative force in your life. <laughs> All right. Let's read this let's, based upon 3 John verse 2. Two. Uh, I am prosperous uh -huh. and healthy. And I am prosperous <laughs> and healthy. To have help on the road. I have help on the road. Amen. I succeed in reaching my goal. That's right. I, I, I succeed in reaching my goal. I, I succeed, succeed in, in business, business affairs. affairs. I, I have a prosperous journey. journey. I, I obtain my, my desired objective. objective. I, I accomplish what I attempt or intend to do. The determination of my project answers the purpose I intended. I have the desired effect. Everything I do is flourishing, thriving, going well, and terminates in success. I am triumphant. Yes, Amen. I am. Can you see that? You know, you, your ears need to hear you say that. That's so true. Your spirit needs to hear you say that. Yes. Your mind needs to hear you say that. Because yes. the Bible says that as a man thinketh, so is he. Yes. So you've got to say it. You've uh -huh. got to keep on saying it so that your heart understands yes. it and said you know what i got to create the reality of Come this on. because because you know because my words are changing now mm -hmm. i'm only speaking what the word of god says about me mm -hmm. and so your spirit says thank you yes. your subconscious mind says thank, thank you. you your mind says <laughs> thank you because now you're saying <laughs> even angels are saying thank you Come on, because I, angels hearken to the voice of god that's so right. when you start saying this angels go to work yes. holy spirit goes yes. to work yes. and god gets happy because his children are putting their words in line with what he says Amen. about them. Amen. All right, how about this next scripture? Mm -hmm. In the book of uh, 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 2 Corinthians, chapter number 8 and verse number 9, Dr. Bill. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty mm. might be rich. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Again, people try to spiritualize that. Well, he was I not mean. talk. He was not talking about natural riches. Well, we all know that 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 that, that whatever God does, it covers spiritual. Yes, it does. It covers physical and it covers financial. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. So when you think about uh, about prosperity. And we talked about when we defined prosperity this week. Mm -hmm. It covers the physical, it yes, covers it the spiritual, yes, it and it also covers the financial. Mm -hmm. So when he says Jesus was rich, man, think about where he come from. Come. Man. He he didn't come from you know just being a billionaire. He came from being a a, 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 a non that you can't count how much money he got there. Amen. <laughs> he come from streets of gold and gates of pearl. He come from heaven itself. Yeah, he became poor, but he was not poor in that sense that he had no money. Cause have you ever fed five thousand people with no right. money? Amen. In Amen. other words, he, his faith. <laughs> He didn't have to have physical money because his faith produced whatever he needed. Amen. And he went Peter to pay his taxes. So Peter going down there and look in the fish's mouth and you'll find a piece of money in the That's fish's right. mouth. That's right. what, are, what is he saying there? That, that my faith is so rich, I yes. just declared and it happens. Amen. Because he was so rich in the word of God inside of him. Mm -hmm. So he, even though he was rich, he became poor. But why did he become poor? Mm -hmm. Meaning come down, to, but it's talking about becoming on our level. 
He says what? That we through his poverty mm. might be rich. Yes. And that word rich means abundantly supply. Yes. So you got to stop being afraid to say I'm rich. Thank you got to get rid of that. That's right. You know, rich means abundantly supply for whatever vision that God's got for your life. He wants you to be a abundantly supply for that. Plus, to take care of your family and any other desires you have personally, Amen. physically, spiritually, or financially yes. in Jesus' name. <laughs> well, let's see the scriptures. Mm -hmm. In the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter number 10 and verse number 22. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow Get with that? it. So when the blessing in your life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's going to make you rich. Yes. Unless you keep talking poor. Oh, my God. See, the blessing is on your life. Mm -hmm. The first thing God did when he created Adam, he made Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. he said he blessed them. Mm -hmm. So, and then he said, what does the word blessing mean? Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. Yeah. Replenish the earth. Yeah. So that blessing of the Lord will make you rich. It will cause you to produce riches and wealth in your life. Mm -hmm. See, notice what the book of Psalms chapter uh, 112 and verse 3 says. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Mm -hmm. And his righteousness endureth forever. So you see that? So God says wealth and riches <clears throat> going to be in your house. That's right. Now, he's not, that's the, your house is not spiritual. <laughs> he said, but wealth, wealth, that means whatever you need at the level you need it, at the level you desire it, is going to be in your, in your house. So you, so you ain't got to have a pole broke house with all that plastic on the furniture because you're afraid <laughs> of it. You've been having it for the last 30 years. So, but he said, no, wealth and riches can be in your house. That's right. And, and he said, and your righteousness will endure forever. That means you never have to come out from being come wealthy. On. But you got, you got to keep thinking this. That's right. Even when things look difficult, things right. look out of, out of, out of place, it. you got to still keep speaking it. You got to keep on declaring it mm -hmm. because your words are the rudder for your life. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, even in the midst of storms, mm -hmm. that ship is guided by that rudder and controlled by that rudder. Even if a horse being 10 times bigger than you are, mm -hmm. it is controlled through the bridle you put in his mouth. Amen. So we're talking about today, we're going to get prosperity in our mouth. Yes. We are prosperous. We are blessed. And, the, and riches and wealth yes, are nice. in our house. Yes, and delays are not denials. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Even though the thing that you believe in God for gets pushed to August, praise God. That's all right. It's not a denial. That's right. You got to say, every, de every delay works in my favor. Amen. You got to declare every that. Delay. Every delay is working in my favor yes. because what? I'm prosperous. Amen. And all that I do prospers. Yes, And does. I succeed in all the things that I do in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Important. So what is the declaration of the bills? I am I am rich. rich. Wealth, Wealth and, and riches, riches are, are in my house. house. Hey, God, you got that today? Amen. You got to start declaring that. And that's, that's what right. me and Dr. Bell are declaring also. Amen. I tip it all the time. Now, you, you can take it if you want to. This is for us. Mm -hmm. Now, you can, you can, you can, you can you know, come along with us. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Or you can stay in, in what, how you've been. Yes. Or you can come on with us. Come on. And so let's go up together. Yes. You know, they said that, they said that, uh, that people say that it's lonely at the top. It's only long at the top when you don't take nobody with you. Yeah. I want to take as many people as I can with me because I know I am who God says I am. You are who God says you Praise are. Praise God. And you got to catch on to this. Mm -hmm. Bible says be followers of those who through faith and, and patience, patience inherit, the, inherit promises. the promises. So Amen. you stop following folks that ain't going nowhere. I mean. Stop following people that don't want to go nowhere. Right. Stop following people that don't, that don't want you to go nowhere. Right. Follow people that are going mm -hmm. where you where your dream is, mm -hmm. and catch on there, Amen. and learn on the way. Mm -hmm. Like they say, uh, uh, they, they always said that you got to do like the eagle. You you jump and learn how to fly on the way down. Right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. You yeah. move forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise. That's why Twala, we agree with that in the name of Jesus. Praise, Praise God. God. You you know you are who God says you are. That's right. Pastor Rita, you are who God says you are. Amen. Amen. Uh, Dion, you are who God says That's right. you. are. Are. Amen. That's right, Crystal. You're included. You're included. <laughs> Amen. Dion, I see you. Yes. You're included. Amen. Praise God. All of you that listen to That's me, right. you are included in this yes. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So, so, so how about this next scripture, Dr. Bell, uh -huh. in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 9, verse 6 through 8. But this I say, mm -hmm. he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, mm -hmm. and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man, according as he has purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, mm -hmm. for God loveth a cheerful giver. 
And God is able to make all grace abound toward you that ye always having all sufficiency in all things mm. may abound to every good work. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So now he's talking yeah. about the giving part. Mm -hmm. Now now this is where a lot of Christians ah. jump the ship. See? Uh -oh. But this is, this is where you need to get on the ship. <laughs> because Paul is saying here yeah. in verse 6, when you sow sparingly, yeah. you're going to reap sparingly. There it is. He said, but if you sow bountifully... You're going to reap bountifully. I, I like you said, Twyla, you're reaping bountifully. That's right. That's you're right. reaping bountifully. You, you got to declare that. You have that to. I, that, 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 you know, that I sow bountifully, mm -hmm. I reap bountifully. That word bountifully means generously. Mm -hmm. so, you got, so don't let the devil trip you up on all this secularism and all this criticism mm -hmm. and, and persecution the world is doing. Mm -hmm. that it's just the devil on his way out. Yes. And he's mad because he knows his time is short because the is. body of Christ and b people that believe God are going to the next level and bring him and getting the money back from the devil again. Amen. So don't be worried about all that. You, right. you you said, no, I am a, it, it said, I sow bountifully, bountifully and generously. That's who I am. And in and verse number seven, he says, according to that purpose in my heart, mm -hmm. I'm not letting nobody else put in my heart the wrong thing. That's good. He says, I give not grudgingly Mm. Or of necessity. Why? Because I'm a cheerful giver. Yeah. See, so don't, don't get that thing. You know, people say, you know, man, I, I know y'all don't get mad right now because we can't really give. No, don't, don't even get yeah. it right there. No, there's, there's no madness in people <laughs> that, 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 that know who they are in Christ. Amen. Prosperous people are ready and willing to give. Yes, they, they are. They are cheerful givers. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. He's, so he loved, God loves a cheerful giver mm -hmm. who purposes his own heart. Mm -hmm. Not being moved because somebody shows a, a, a baby that's starving. Nothing wrong, with, nothing wrong with that. But that's not what moves you. You're moved because you're just a cheerful Amen. giver. Your heart is in your giving. That's good. And you got you to gotta begin to declare that in Jesus' name mm -hmm. over your life. Mm -hmm. Because as long as you don't become tripled in your giving, when your tithes, your offerings, or whatever God's leading you to do, then you're never going to receive the, the, the benefits from it. Why? Because God loves a cheerful giver. That's right. The Amplified Bible said he loves a, 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 a prompt to do it yes. giver Amen. whose heart is, is in, in his, his giving. giving. So you got to get that rooted in your spirit. I am a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. My heart is in my giving. Yes. I give generously. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? And then when it says there in verse, uh, verse number eight, mm -hmm. God is able. Mm. <laughs> See, don't look to people. Amen. God is able. Yes. When you are a cheerful giver, God is able to make all grace abound toward you that yeah. you, I like what it says, always, yeah. not sometimes up, always, and sometimes down, but you always having all sufficiency may uh, in, uh, in, in all things, yes. having sufficiency in all things, right? physically, mm -hmm. all things spiritually, mm -hmm. and all things financially, yeah. you have a, all, all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Amen. That means everything God calls you to do, every, 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 every area God calls you to give, mm -hmm. you are abounding in that area. Yes, you are. And, and, and the Amplified Bible really gets to that, mm -hmm. that God gives you favor mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, I, 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 he, he, I think it says that, that all favor, uh, uh, blessings <laughs> uh, come to you in abundance. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So, so Dr. Bev is going to read our confession <laughs> over this scripture. In Jesus' name, uh, our declaration. I sow, I sow generously, generously and, and I reap generously. generously. I, I am a cheerful, prompt to do it giver. My heart is in my giving. All grace, favor, and earthly blessing comes to me in abundance. I am always and under all circumstances, whatever the need, self sufficient. I am furnished in abundance for every good work. And, and charitable, charitable donation. donation. <laughs> that is your confession of faith. That's it. That is your faith speaking. Yes. That is the rudder on your, the ship of your life yes. being controlled now through your words. Beautiful. Amen. And Beautiful. that's what God said. The whole point is, I am, I am prosperous. Mm -hmm. All this right here is a declaration of your prosperity anointing that's on Amen. your life. And don't let nobody take you out of this that's in right. Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you mm -hmm. shall prosper. prosper. Why? Because, right. because the prosperity anointing is on you, mm -hmm. it's on your family, mm -hmm. it's on your children, 
It's on your marriage. Mm -hmm. It's on the on the health of your body. Yes. It's, it's on it's on your business. It's mm -hmm. on your ministry. Yes. Whatever you he said, all that you do <laughs> shall prosper. Yes. And you declare that that God also is causing the people that are that you are around <laughs> to be blessed because of you. Yes. Because of you. Yes. And and so you declare that in the in the midst of contradictory circumstances, mm. I am. Prosperous. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. That is your daily declaration. Amen. In Jesus' name. Dr. Bell, final words. Yes, praise God. Yes, continue to make these confessions mm -hmm. throughout the weekend and through next week and through all the days of your life. Make it a habit to confess the word about what, what God says that you are. Yes. Not what somebody else say. Not what your boyfriend told you you, yeah. you wasn't going to be no good. Not, not you know, if your, your father wasn't good to you, your mother wasn't good. It's not about them no That's way. Right. It's about what you say about you yeah. that counts. And when you start saying what God says about you, guess what? You're going to be able to lift yourself up and you're going to be able to walk in that. So learn how to continue to confess the word, make those declarations, and, 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 and become who God wants you to become. Amen. Because just like in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, 9 says, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know the grace. God has given you some grace. Yes. So yes. therefore, if grace has been extended to you, go, on and, go ahead and walk in it. Amen. Because he already paid the price for you. Because he died to make you rich. <laughs> and, 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 Amen. And, and don't be afraid to say it. That's right. Don't be afraid. The blessing of the Lord make it rich. Yes, yes. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. That's what the So you got to start declaring that. You have to do that. Amen. When I first saw people like Apostle Price, I'm talking about I'm rich. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, that's pretty bold. But yes. they were just confirmed with the word of God say. Amen. Don't never be afraid to say about your yourself what God says about you. Amen. Because the because because fear is reacting to what the devil is doing, mm -hmm. but faith is responding to what God has already done. That's right. And God has made you Amen. a prosperous person. Yes. Amen. So God bless you all, Amen. Twyla. God bless you. You're prosperous. That's right, yes. Twyla. Praise yeah. God, Montoya, all of you. Yes. Praise God. Thank God for you. And you know, I pr we praise God for you because I know we have a lot of people that are on when we're talking. Many people don't really come, don't, they don't come on and actually uh, comment. Mm -hmm. But for you that are with us every day making these comments, Amen. I appreciate you all. We appreciate <laughs> you so much for your comments because you're letting us know you're getting this. Praise and your God. comments are also encouraging other people Amen. in that area. That's right. So that's why we always say uh, you know, make the comments, but then also when we get finished, I'll take a moment to share this, like it, then share it with your friends, mm -hmm. and then continue to expand. The, the outreach of this ministry in Praise Jesus' God. name. Amen. What's well, been a great blessing all this week, but before we leave, as always, mm -hmm. we give everybody an opportunity that uh, to give their tithe and their offerings unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, again, we say we do it every day for one reason, mm -hmm. because there, we got partners that get paid at different times during the week, yes. different times during the month, and we also want to make sure that we are in agreement Amen. with you when you give your tithe, when you give your offerings, you give your special seeds, we want to make sure that when the Lord leads you to do it, that we are in a full agreement with you for that corresponding return. That's right. So what is tithing? Tithing is 10%. What, what, what is it for? He said there might be meat in my house. Right. That means that, that the meat that we bring to you mm -hmm. is what the tithe mm -hmm. is for. It's, it's allowing us to bring the revelation to you. Yeah. And what happens is this, is when you are tithing mm -hmm. based upon the word that you're getting, it causes that word to go to another level Amen. in your life. It actually causes a revelation to hit you because you're not only just receiving from that, that meat, mm -hmm. you're also giving to yes. make sure that meat is being yes, provided. Yes. And so that was the tithe is for number two. Uh, the Bible says offerings. Offering is what God prompts you in your heart to do. Mm -hmm. God's got a big dream with vision for your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in order to release the harvest that he wants on your life, mm -hmm. he puts a seed in your, in, 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 in your mind or in your spirit. Mm -hmm. So you need to plant that seed. And when you obey God, it opens another window for yes, you in Jesus' does. name. Yes, and then does. also we have the third kind of giving is called seed faith giving. And that's when you name your seed. Amen. You specifically yes. do uh, plant mm -hmm. a seed for your personal uh, 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 desire yes, yes. and wants and yes. needs. And you make, a this, you make a declaration that when I sow this seed, I'm sowing specifically for this purpose. Mm -hmm. And then myself and Dr. Bev come into agreement with you Amen. as you act on the work of an tithing, offering, and special seed they're giving. And we're, uh, we, we're, not just, we're not just not talking this. We believe this. Yes, we do. We know this works. Amen. Amen. Praise oh, God. Yeah. So we set ourselves in agreement with you. 
Dr. Craig, how do you do this? If you partner with us, mm -hmm. number one, right on the screen right there, mm -hmm. you scroll down there and you'll see what it talks about. If you scroll down, it says, you know, giving your tithe, the offerings. There's a link right there. You click that link and take you right to our giving area. Or you can, um, uh, the, the ministry cash out, you can, you can get that ministry cash out right there. Or if you want to give a special gift personally to myself and Dr. Bell, we also have our personal cash out right there. Amen. You can give to us. But how the Lord leads you, That's right. which we know he will and he does, Amen. we set ourselves in agreement with you for the corresponding return right. on your giving. Why? Because you are a prosperous person yes, in Jesus' are. name. So I'm going to pray right now as an apostle of God. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to receive your tithe, your offerings, Hallelujah. and your seed faith giving in Jesus' Amen. name. Father, in the name of Thank Jesus, you. as an apostle of God, I receive this, the, the tithe, you. the offering, the seed of your people right now. Yes. My seven other bed, we set ourselves in agreement with them that they receive the corresponding yes. return on their tithe, that the windows of heaven are open, yes. blessings, favor, increase come to them in abundance. Yes. The devourer is rebuked in Jesus' name. name we agree you. with them, Father, for the offering that, that, it, that, the, that, the, that the favor yes. and, the, and, and the blessing that you have for Thank their life, God. it comes on them concerning your purpose and plan for their life. Yes. And also, God, for that seed faith given for the personal things they want in their life, we set ourselves in agreement with them Thank that you. they receive the yes. 30, 60, 100 fold now in this time as they give. It is given to them again, good measure, yes, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Yes. You cause people to now give unto thank them. You, we Lord. give you thanks for it, we Father. Thank you, in Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise God. And again, thank I want to I encourage you yes. uh, 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 to, uh, uh, you know, if you're my partner, we give you that confession. You read that thing if you have to every morning and every night. Praise God for amen. you to bed. Praise That's God. Right. And even share with your friends. I don't mind you sharing. Share with your friends. Amen. You know, hey, Dr. Craig sent us this confession, and, 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 and you need to read this confession every morning and every night because you are prosperous. And, you know, so you know, send it to your friends, and let, let them be blessed also in That's Jesus' right. name. But we love you very much. Appreciate you, and we declare we declare every person listening to my voice right now, you are prosperous. Yes, you are. All that you do prospers. Yes. Why? Because the prosperity of God is on your side, yes. and he delights in your prosperity. Dr. Uh, Bell, final words. Amen. Yes, we're believing God with you, and we're and, and we're we know that God is going to get you to where you need in yeah. life. Just keep confessing it and keep believing it because your faith will get you through. Amen. All right. Well, we'll be back again this coming Sunday morning yes. at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. And so, again, uh, go ahead and share this uh, with your friends. Share it with everybody. And we're going to see you again this coming Sunday morning Amen. at 9 a.m. <laughs> Amen. Until then, this is Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev saying, May God's, God's riches and, and his very best be yours. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>